Scotland, Kenya v Scotland. And these two men are definitely worth keeping the eyes on in this one. There he is, Nigeria, five power. We're talking strike rate in terms of tries scored per tournament. James Johnson, a handy runner in the Scottish lineup as well. Here's how the sides line up. I'm Sean Maloney, joined in commentary by ex Tongan international Willie Losse. And how good is it to be here in Singapore? Yeah, good afternoon, Sean. It's terrific. Great crowd, amazing stadium. And we've seen some upsets, which just goes to prove that going back to back is always going to be tough for any team to do. Fiji beaten by Samoa. New Zealand beaten by France. And Argentina upsetting Australia as well. And very, very narrow margin in the game preceding this one where South Africa were put under the pump by Russia. Only getting clear in that one late in the piece. Right now, though, it is Kenya and Scotland. It's a full C matchup. big question for me is how does Scotland bounce back after being thumped 33 nil earlier against South Africa they really need to show some pride in this match they have a way better side than that there's Federico Ansami and takes charge of his 214th match for Kenya in my view are a side that are on the improve they looked great in Hong Kong last week and they had a good one against Russia earlier three tries to one can they get can they go win win they went within a whisker of downing Fiji last week in Hong Kong in the cup quarter final. Going down after the bell against Fiji who went on to win the whole thing in Hong Kong. So they are, when on form, one of the tougher teams to beat in the series. And we are off and going here, Kenya v Scotland. And the ball's going to come back for Oliek. Sliding across the park is Humphrey Kayangi. Goes to Oyu. Oyu as well to go back to Humphrey. And now with Aoti. Good patient build up this from Kenya. Across they come to the try scoring wizard in Jira he's brought down 10 out and Kenya rumble it on in tight for the moment back to in Jira in Jira tiptoeing down the touchline and eventually catching the chalk wonderful start by Kenya initially by William Barker who got up and tapped it back that's what gave them position and they patiently worked it down the left and right conversation there between the assistant referee and the Argentinian referee this is great work from Njeda but look at the defense that came in from Nick McLennan. No way was he ever going to score that try. Scotland go deep with the 22 restart and scooting back is OU for Kenya. The chase coming from Fleming, who's quick, and now Stay number 10. have to spin around and get Thank back you. to give a hand to Scott White, who will let that run dead. 22 the, was crowned. The ball line it goes, so we come option. all the thank way you. back, and it will be a Scotland feed okay, to this you. scrum. Good awareness of the rules there. In the game of sevens, they know that if you kick the ball and it goes dead on that occasion, you actually get a scrum where the point of where they kicked it. And so instead of actually tapping the ball back and having a 22 restart, they've got a net gain of 50 meters. It's a really hard deck, isn't it? Yeah. Really, we Coach. walked it yesterday. It's nice and firm under the. A good covering of Set. grass there. You jogged it. Looks good. Across the park comes Scotland looking for the switch here to straighten. Playing oh the that switch money. needed to be made. That was a huge shot coming from Aoti. Fleming takes an eternity to get back to his feet. Still no score after two minutes of play in this one. Great chance here for Scotland to break the deadlock and dumbing and getting around the defence is JJ, James Johnson. He pops it down and Scotland have first points in this one. So this first try here in Singapore for the weekend. We highlighted him alongside Collins and Jeddah with the strike rate 
and his ability to do this, to step and then to accelerate. Ball in two hands meant that the defense of a York had to hold. They couldn't go in case the pass was thrown. Look at this, young boys and girls watching at home. Ball in two hands, that is the secret. And then when you've got pace like that, you can finish it. Captain of Hooks, the shot at goal, so 5-0 the score stays in favour of Scotland over Kenya. There's no shortage of players, is there, Willie? In this Scottish team, you look at Johnson, you've got Fleming, Fife can move quickly, and Farndale's electric too, so when they can get possession and release those guys, they are a tough team to turn. Yeah, Robertson as well, don't forget about them, but Kenya, they need to strike back straight away. happy to be brought in and down tight to the breakdown there and they'll just right. work it slowly but surely in close and now release Kenya long ball across to Aoti Aoti steps on it whoa 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 whoa, whoa no you're kidding me oh the big O Oscar Ayori, what have you done, son? I'll tell you what he's done, he's blown it cold. I don't need to have this conversation. I can tell you straight away that he should have put the ball down. Instead, he tried to pass to a player on the inside and get it, and he's lost it cold. That is a meat pie. That's one that's gone big. Oh, that wasn't butchered, it was carved and smoked. That was horrible. Horrible, Willie. No try is the call. Let's get another look. Put it down, Oscar. Oscar! Time off. Too late. What about the work of Scott Sorry. right there? Staying but active and making sure that the, the pass wasn't going to go on field and then so just kicking it dead. So that's yes, gone dead. Okay. Could okay. be a Kenyan Sorry. scrum. It's just 22. Sorry. Sorry for that. Sorry. Well, he's changed his mind. It's not a carry back or a lost ball. It's actually play dead which means that it's a restart at the 22 oh Yodi did so well they did all the hard work didn't they it's like getting to the big dance and not getting in with the ticket remarkable I've never ever seen that happen in the world of sevens you get something to savor just about every game we roll through on the circuit that one will go viral, I think is the right term, Rack! really. Going viral, will go on the internet. Might even already be up, thanks to Tommy Chick and the World Rugby crew. Don't forget, you can follow all the action on Twitter as well. At World Rugby Sevens is your handle. You need to be dialing into it. Right another look at that bomb try from Aoti. That's a better hand on the pull from Aoti, but eventually it's going to come out the back for his opposing number one, Rack. Scott Riddell. Offside. That's just their discipline first. from Oyo there. It's just frustration, but let's have a look earlier. This should have been five all, kick to come, maybe seven five to Kenya, and this is how you don't score a try. <laughs> what about, what about, is that Collins and Jira behind him? Just, are you kidding? What are you doing, Oscar? Well, with Njeda on 223 tries, I think the intention was to try and get him closer to Santiago Gomez quarters 230, and hence the reason. So there you go. He won't want his name put up there, Stay there. <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh, you've got to have a chuckle. Over the top it goes. So Kenya now, living large, and this will be a little. This is how you do. Oh, hey, ho, hey, hey, And eventually, diving in for Kenya is Willie Ambaka. They're just serving him up left and right. Well, it's the Harlem Globetrotters of Sevens Rugby as Kenya. They're in this type of mood where they want to entertain. And here was the break by Mbaka. They call him Billy the Kid. And this man on screen there, Humphrey Kanye, well, he scored. 154 tries, so he knows the way to the try line, and then the offload. Black Mamba 
retired from the Lakers after 20 years, and now they're starting to show a tribute to Kobe. Pena. Go in and make it a two-point game. Up over Scotland. Just a couple of ticks of the clock left in the first half here. National Stadium in Singapore. <laughs> How many times do we see it, Sean? What on the stroke or the gong if they've got it here or the hooter, as it's called in other parts of the world? A team scores and so can Scotland retake the lead to give them the psychological advantage heading into the break. It's been a thrilling first half, that's for sure. Just the 12 points, but it has been action-packed. A great pass back inside from Fleming there. Keeps the ball alive, keeps his side alive in the hunt for more points before the break, and the kick isn't too bad, but Kenya win the race to the ball. I'm happy to tap it into touch, and... That brings the curtain down on the first half, where it is Kenya, seven, Scotland, five. Locals starting to ramp it up, dancing along to Taylor Swift and shake it off, ringing around the stadium here in Singapore. What did you say that song's title was? Shake it off. Shake it off. Taylor Swift. No, it's not shake it off, mate. It's shake it up. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I know, I know, I know me some Tay Tay and it's shake it off. Loss, eh? All right. Park that. Second half back underway, Scotland and Kenya. Who are in pool C alongside Russia and South Africa. The Blitzbocker two from two on day one. And look the team to beat here. Couldn't help himself. Scott Riddell on that occasion there made the tackle and then helped himself. But the ruck had formed, which means that there's a penalty. And Kenya playing the right tactics here against Scotland and drawing them into the contact and then looking to move it wide. This try that they should have scored that we're going on a little bit about is what they did effectively. They went close, they went close, and then when they went wide, there was no defense. And if you've got the phone at the ready at home while you're on the PC. Hashtag Singapore Sevens is what we're going to be hunting down. Have a look at some of the action from earlier today. All cooked up, ready to go on that hashtag. Nice dart here from Oliek. It's been a slow, deliberate march up the park here from Kenya. And now they'll take it 10 from Scotland's line. And the Kenyans make it 12 straight points against Scotland. And Jira. Now picking it going and slamming it down is the big unit, the captain, Andrew Monde for Kenya. Yeah, the double A, Andrew Monde. He took root one here, but Collins and Jira. Look at the smart play of just darting and then taking it there, setting it up. And Monday just picks up. No one's going to stop him that close to the line. He's a big, strong captain. And he plants it down with authority. 30 first try in his career. And since he's been given the black armband of the captaincy, he really has raised his game.
conversion is off to the right. So just the converted try separating these two sides. Pressure from Kenya there at the restart and coming away with it as Ambaka. Restart, so Keegan, Kenya getting it right there. Sliding and feeding back on the inside was Injira to Oyu and Kenya just mixing their game up so well. Off to my then happy to pull it in tight. Good work right. over the ball from Scotland. Right. Looking for the turnover, but picking up and going. The oh, there was Ayotti and Scotland. Well, they pounce. Snapple it back. Here's one of their big strike weapons. Maya Thabo gets the pass away. They numbered up well on this near side, Scotland. Well, he was the man that started it, Andrew Fife, Dougie Fife rather. He went in and won the ball. And Scotland go on the attack again. Maya Thabo. Maya Thabo. Rap. Goes charging into the defence. And it's scrappy for the moment. Terrific pass there from the captain, Scotty White. It's going to give his side a chance to open up by Robertson. Robertson's quick. Robertson's too quick. And in just a moment, we're going to be all locked up. To get the turnover and then to come 85 metres. And this is the last part of it where they get it out to Robertson. He then steps off his left foot here and then puts on the afterburners. AU couldn't get across to make the tackle and the kick will tie it up. Twelve twelve. Kenya and Scotland all locked up. This has been an entertaining game. It's had a bit of everything. It really has, and Kenya on that occasion went one too far in a yodi. He carted the ball up. That's where the turnover occurred, and they needed to go wide, Kenya. Spectacular take there from Dougie Fife, but he was easy pickings. Dancing with that left-hand touch line, and it'll be a Kenyan line-out throw. And the Kenyans will be desperate here to get the victory. They've beaten Russia earlier today. Two wins here will send them through to the cup round, and that's really the goal when you come to Singapore after a tough week in Hong Kong. Kenya are going to turn possession straight back to Scotland and give them a chance to try and grab the match winner. That's big Humphrey Kenya. Look at that. 65th tournament. 155 tries. He has been a foundation member for this Kenyan team. And over the years since he made his debut, Way back in Dubai in 2004. Sean Maloney, you're still running around in shorts and singlet, going to school. Yeah, that's a fair ways back, isn't it? It's a long time ago. But he has been <laughs> he has been one of the cornerstones of this Kenyan side, and they really have developed him to be one of the great teams. Let's see if they can hang tough here, though. Willie Lossay, under 30 seconds remaining in this one. All square. Scotland with Robertson. Already has one try. More patient build up to the flyer. Five. And he is grasped. 
Just eight shy of the line. What a tackle from Ayodi. That you can't coach. That is class. He gave him the sideline and then he just pinned his ears back. Look at the arms and the shoulders going into the tackle. That is copybook. That'll put a smile on the face of Benjamin Ayumba. Kenya. Hey, Gonna have to go hey. around about 93 meters. Time's up. They're all square. Scotland, though, come away with it now. It's fallen back in the arms of Collins in Jira. He says, you know what? We'll take our medicine. We'll walk away with the draw. We can't split them. Kenya and Scotland, 12 apiece, full time. And ladies and gentlemen, first draw of the day, Kenya.